Hello everyone and welcome to another video dedicated to SAP. Today we are going to dive into the intricacies of the ST22 transaction, a must-have tool for every SAP professional. In this video, we will break down and explore everything you need to know about the ST22 transaction. From its definition to practical tips for managing and analyzing dumps, we'll cover it all. Let's start with the basics. What is the ST22 transaction and why is it so important in SAP error management? But before you do, don't forget to like our videos if you find the content useful. It helps us to know what resonates most with you and to keep producing quality content that meets your needs. Subscribe now to join our growing community of SAP enthusiasts and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new publication. Thank you. The ST22 transaction is SAP's private detective. When something goes wrong in your SAP system, ST22 is there to collect the clues. Officially, it's known as SAP Dump Analysis. It collects the dump, or memory dump, that occurs when the system encounters a critical error. Why is this important? Well, in SAP, understanding errors is crucial to maintaining a healthy, high-performance system. ST22 gives you a detailed overview of what went wrong, helping you to identify and solve problems before they become disasters. When you open ST22, you are greeted by a list of recent dumps. Each entry contains key information such as the date and time of the dump, the name of the user and the transaction that triggered the error. It's a wreath of information organized to facilitate your analysis. Now that we have an overview of ST22, let's explore in more detail the different types of dumps you may encounter in the SAP. This will help you to better understand the nature of the problems you may encounter. Not all SAP dumps are created equal. There are several types, each with its own particularities. Short dump, for example, is often triggered by programming errors, such as division by zero. Memory dump, on the other hand, occurs when there are memory problems, such as a buffer overflow. To identify the nature of a dump, take a look at its error type. This will give you a clear idea of the underlying cause. For example, a timeout indicates that the allocated execution time has been exceeded. These labels are like symptoms in a medical diagnosis, guiding you to the cause of the problem. Imagine you find an update failure. This could indicate a problem with a database update. Or if you see a storage overflow, it's a sign that the system is running out of storage space to execute an operation. Understanding these signals is essential for navigating the maze of dumps. Several types of dumps. Okay, now let's get down to the nitty gritty, the detailed analysis of a dump. This step is crucial to deciphering the mysteries of these error messages. We are now in SAP and we will go in the ST22 transaction code. We are now in the ABAP runtime errors all clients. So in fact, you have first um, here the selection screen that allows you to go deeper and search all the dump that occurs in your system. Here, the standard part is to check today's and yesterday's dump that occur in all the system. It allows you to find directly which error has occurred just right now. But you have also here your own selection to find more dumps related to different parameters such as the user, the transaction code used or a range date here to help you find other dump in the system. But for now, let's go in the standard part, click on today and here check the dump that occurs today.
And here you can see the list of selected runtime errors. You have the different entries here. And in fact, if you double click on a line, you go directly in the runtime error long text where you can find all the information. On the left, you have the tree navigation. And on the right here, you have the detailed information of the dump. First, you have all things related to the system environment. You have here the system environment where the dump occurs and also the user and transaction used. For example, here you have the client, the username, the language key, the transaction, etc., etc., to find which problem in which program the issue is coming. Then when you have find or located the issue, you can check the user view. So what happened and what can you do? If you click here, SAP can help you to define which error has occurred. Here, it says that you, the current ABAP program, this one, has terminated because a statement that could not be executed. In fact, if you go a little further and check the error analysis, you can find that an exception is occurred to a zero divide classes. So in fact, you can check that in the program somewhere, we try to divide with an operation something by zero. And for sure, it creates a dumps in the system. So for the ABAP developer view here, you have the error analysis, but you have also how to correct the error and some other really important information. But moreover, you have access here to the source code extract. So if I double click here, I will be able to check directly the program and SAP will show me on which line the problem occurs. So here, we know that the problem is here on, the, on this statement. I can even click on it and check in the program, you know, here, SAP show me the problem. So now we can investigate a little bit further in the program and check what happened. In fact, we are just declaring a data, some parameters, and we divide the first parameter by the second one. So for sure, if I execute the program and choose a number and divide by zero, and I execute, yes, I have a dump, the same one as before. So if I go back once again in ST22, I have now three runtime error. The last one just occurs with my attend. So I can go in the source code extract, go one time again here, and maybe what could be interesting is to solve the issue. So what can we do to avoid that uh, divided by zero occurs in our program? We can, in fact, simply check the parameter here and avoid that we write zero in it. So if we write zero in this parameter, we will write error in the program and we will not execute the division here. So I can try quickly, write a number here, zero. And if I execute, you can see it's written error, but I, doesn't, I don't create any dumps. And if I go back here, you can check that I have still three runtime errors and not another one. So we have solved the issue thanks to the error analysis and we find where was, where was the issue to correct. As in many other areas, prevention is key to managing SAP dumps. A good practice is to regularly monitor ST22 to detect and resolve problems before they escalate. Also make sure you keep your system up to date with the latest patches and updates. To avoid common errors, familiarize yourself with the most common types of dumps in your SAP environment. This can help you recognize early warning signs and take proactive measures. Also, don't ignore minor warnings and errors. 
they can sometimes be precursor of more serious problems. Finally, don't hesitate to expand your knowledge. Resources such as SAP training courses, webinars and online communities can provide valuable insights and tips on how to manage debts. Continuous learning is your best tool in this technological journey. In fact, don't hesitate to check out the video description for a whole host of useful resources. By following these best practices and remaining vigilant, you can greatly reduce the impact of dumps on your SAP system. Now, let's have a quick recap of what we have learned today. We've come a long way together in this video. From discovering the ST22 transaction to understanding the different types of dumps, to analysis and resolution strategies, to best practices for effective dumps management. Each step is crucial to mastering the art of managing dumps in SAP. I encourage you to approach dumps management with caution and diligence. Heroes in SAP can be intimidating, but with the right knowledge and tools, they become opportunities to learn and improve. Remember, prevention, careful analysis, and proactive resolution are your best allies. Thank you for watching. A big thank you to everyone who contributed to this video. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring the world of SAP. See you soon for more SAP adventures. Thank you for watching this video. And if you would like to go even further in your SAP mastery, I have got something special for you. Key user training is your reference for high quality SAP training. Whatever the module, whatever the language, our training platform is designed to propel you towards excellence. So, are you curious? I bet you are. Visit our website to discover a wealth of exclusive content. Every click is a step closer to your total mastery of SAP. Join us and become part of the next generation of SAP experts. See you soon!